Greetings, greetings, gentle ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for tuning in. And today I want to share with you guys a quick little um, overview in regards to the HyperPay wallet, okay? Now, first thing you need to do is get a link from the inviter so you can be able to uh, share your link with them, all right? And if you don't know how to share your link, at the bottom, it's going to say mine. You click on mine and it's going to say invite friends. So you can see right there, it says invite friends. And then you'll be able to invite them right here. As you guys can see, I've invited 14 friends already and they've invited multiple friends. So we have about 27 people in there. So you just click on the invite tab and then you'll get the link to share right there. Okay. And you also get a cool little share poster as well. If you guys want to see that, all right. So now let's get back out of there. That's how you get your link. Now, another important thing is you see right here where it says wallet, right? Click on wallet. And then you just scroll to the top, right? At the top, you should see your balance. And over to the right side, you'll see asset details, okay? And so to get the asset details, I wanna share with you how you can get your, your wallet. All right, so as you see here, you see MOF, all right? So as you guys know, with HyperFund, you're getting paid into HU, and then you have to convert those HUs into MOF. And when you wanna withdraw your HUs from MOF, you need an address, guys. So here, where you'll find your address, you'll click there, and then you'll click where it says receive at the bottom here, all right? You get your receive address, and that's where you're gonna be able to uh, copy this address and add it to your withdrawal area under my account in your back office. All right. So once you have that there, you're set to go. You can save it there as well. And then you can always withdraw and it'll come into this wallet. As you see, I have multiple uh, deposits into this wallet already, as you guys can see. And then we can also withdraw from these wallets as well. Okay. All right, so once you have your funds here, your, your MOF here, now you wanna trade. Say I wanna trade my MOF into USDT. You're gonna hit trade, and then it looks kinda crazy here, right? So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna see this arrow that say BTC. You click that arrow where it says BTC, and you scroll down and you look for MOF. Boom, there go MOF right there. So I will click MOF. And then you see this little switch because you wanna switch from USDT to MOF, right? Or MOF to USDT, right? So what you wanna do is click that area, boom, it switches everything over and it lets you know the maximum that you could uh, switch out right now at this particular switch is a thousand MOFs, all right? So you can hit a hundred percent if you have a thousand MOFs. Sorry, hit a hundred percent right there. And then it'll let you know if you did a hundred, uh, a thousand MOFs switched over, this is how much you're gonna receive here. And then you can hit instant exchange, okay? Once you hit instant exchange, all right, it'll show up inside of your USDT wallet automatically. Okay, so right here, it's ready to exchange. Uh, just to do a test, I'll do like uh, 25%. I really don't want to switch to none of my MOFs right now. Man, you see the, the price of MOF right now, Malik? It's going crazy. <laughs> yeah, last time I checked, it was like at $1.84. And when I first got in, it was at $0.32. Cents. So it's on an unbelievable uptrend right now. The whole entire market is crashing and MOF is still going up, man. This is unbelievable. Right. So I don't want to send, I don't want to do anything in this video right here. But as you can follow along, if you're watching this video, and you want to convert to your MOS, just do exactly what I just shared with you. You know, switch it to USDT, then hit instant exchange, and it'll take about a minute or so to show up into your wallet. All right, so if you go back here and you look at your USD wallet, USDT wallet here, it should show here, and it should show all the exchanges that you've done, all right? So I've just did an exchange here, and I already sent it out. So how you will send it out is you will click on transfer. Once it's in your USD, you don't click on trade anymore. You'll click on transfer, and then you have three options to for the chain name here, okay? Um, you could send it Omni, you could send it TRC20, ERC20. 
Of course, TRC-20 is the cheapest if you're sending it to like Kraken and you have a TRC-20 address. But if you don't have a TRC-20 address, don't fool with it. Send it to your ERC-20. So for instance, if you're sending it to your Coinbase or any other um, exchange that only deal with the Ethereum chain, which is ERC-20. Okay, so you can copy that. You can put the address that you want here, the amount here, right? And then it'll tell you how much is the miner fee. So if I'm sending it through ERC-20, if I click there, you see the miner fee is a little bit more expensive. But if I click on ERC, um, TRC-20, the miner fee is only a dollar, guys. So that's why it's good to probably have an exchange that accepts the TRC-20. That way it's only a dollar for the exchange, okay? And then once you do that, and you hit send, it'll go straight into your wallet. But before it goes to your wallet, there's a security feature in place here. You will get a, set, a phone call, okay, from an unknown number, and that phone call will call you, and it'll be like an automated voice, right, saying, hey, you know, did you authorize this transaction? And you have to say yes or press one. Once you press one, it'll hang up, and it'll complete the transaction. So look to have that inside of your wallet between, you know, two to five minutes. Okay, so once that's done, you can do that over and over and over again as many times as you need to. Okay, so I hope this helped get you guys set up with the wallet. Did you have any questions, Malik, that, you know, some people may have while we're uh, here? Yeah, so one of the questions that people may have is, what if you don't have the Hyperbay card? Like, can you actually not have the Hyperbay card and send your MOF over to this wallet? And can you still deposit it into your bank account? Absolutely. So great question. So if you don't have the Hyperpay card, which is right here, right? So you can choose, like I have the Hyperpay card. That's my, that's what mine says on here, right? So if you don't have this card and you need a passport to even get this card, if you don't have a passport, don't worry about getting a card until you get one. Okay. But if you don't have the card and you just want to send your, your MOFs here, you can do that. You just got to make sure you click on assets. And if you don't see your asset here, you don't see MOF here, you can add it. So you can click on this plus sign there and you can type in what coin you want. So if you say MOF, you just type in MOF and it should show up. If it's off like that, that means it's not selected. So you want to click it on, right? So once you have it in there, and you can send it to any outside wallet that you want, but first you have to convert it into USDT or to Bitcoin, okay? So as long as you do that, you're clear, you're in the game there. Does that answer your question? Definitely, definitely. So what if somebody um, sends MOF out of the hyper, um, out of the hyper fund platform, how long should they be expecting for that transaction to happen? It should happen within 24 hours. So once they send it over, once uh, Hyperfund release it, it'll show up. It typically shows here faster than it will show in the who.com exchange from my experience. Oh, so wow, that's within, awesome. Yeah, 20, within 24 hours. If you do a withdrawal like at night, it should happen the same day sometimes by midnight the next day, okay? So that's what I've been experiencing right now. Um, however, you know, once you get your MOF in here, there's plenty of exchanges that you guys could find out uh, like you can go on coin uh, base or coin market cap and find out what exchanges MOF is on and you can use that or um, you can convert it into Bitcoin you know from here or USDT from from here and then from USDT right into Bitcoin or Ethereum whichever one you choose and then send it to your cash app or send it to your coin base and from there you could send it straight to your bank account seems like a lengthy process but it's really quick any other questions and the last question that i have is um let's say somebody has the wallet set up they withdraw some mof from a hyper fund and they wait the 24 hours it lands inside of their mof wallet are they able to kind of use the card and go spend it while it's an mof or do they have to transfer it over into a stable coin like USDT first? Yes, that's what they would have to do. If they have the card, 
they will convert the MOF into USDT. Like I shared with you, you click on MOF, you click on trade, and then you select MOF right here. Go over to MOF, boom, and then convert it this way at 100%. Once it's in the USDT, you can upload it right to the card, right? Perfect. Yeah, that's all. That's the only questions that I had, and I know that a lot of people, you know, on our team and our huge community that's growing every day, they're gonna really love this video. So I appreciate you taking the time to kind of go over the HyperPay card. Absolutely, you could do staking in this card. You can do a lot of stuff in this card, man. You can also, um, you know, get the HyperMate Pro. And I noticed now you can also purchase your USDT here, right? So if a person want to purchase uh, uh, USDT, they can buy here. So if I wanted to purchase, you know, USDT right here, and this gives you a minimum of 50. So say I wanted to purchase $25,000 worth, I'll hit submit payment. It says the purchase amount must be between 50 and 20,000, so which is cool. So the maximum I can buy here is 20,000. Okay, and once I hit submit, it should pop up here, and I can go ahead and hit I agree with the terms and condition, and then go straight to pay. And it'll pop up the details here, okay? So out of the 20,000, they're gonna charge their fees, pretty expensive fee here. You can even do Apple Pay, it looks like. But you can get it done at USDT, TRC, it'll go straight through Simplex. You put your credit card number and stuff in here and submit and you're good to go, as you guys can see here. Yeah, that's awesome. This is solving a huge problem. And to have a 20K limit on what you can buy, this is you know phenomenal right here. Yeah, this is unbelievable right here. So you can purchase right here. You can also use Apple Pay if I wanted to. Um, I'm not connected, but that's an option. You can use your Visa card or MasterCard. Okay. So that's awesome. I'm glad they added this feature for us here in the States and uh, beyond. And that's once that's paid for, it'll go right into your USD, your USDT wallet, and you can fund your HyperPay membership. That's super awesome. Okay, so I hope you guys got some benefits out of this video. I didn't want it to be too long, but I just wanted to share with you guys some of the highlights of having this here. And uh, take advantage of this wallet, it's pretty cool. All right, so without any further ado, appreciate you guys tuning in. Get this video out to your teams, and we're gonna see you guys on the next side of success. Peace. Peace, AI Global. Legends. <laughs>